look into my personal library, welcome to Shelf Portrait. Reading has always been a passion of mine. Ever since I was a little girl, I would watch as my parents would read, and I was like, I want to do that. And so now I try and read about a book a week, and I want to show you guys my five favorite books of all time. My all-time favorite book is Redeeming Love. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. It's got little roses all over it. Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. I read this book for the first time when I was in college. Everyone had talked about how amazing this book was. And at the time I liked reading, but it wasn't like my favorite thing in the entire world. So I just read more occasionally or when I was with my family. I read the entire thing in three days. And since I read this book in college, I have read it like four or five times through. That's how much I love this book. And I, I would probably say the thing that I taught me the most is what true love is. That true love is unconditional, that it's sacrificial, or that it goes against your own self. That when you choose to love someone, you're literally laying down your life and you're laying down your wants and desires for that person and pursuing them. And it just showed me too how I want to be pursued by a man. I'm like, yeah, that's what I want. The last time I stayed up all night to finish a book was with Redeeming Love. I think I stayed up till about two or three a.m. almost every night until I finished it. It's that. Okay, my second all-time favorite book is by John Maxwell and it's called Intentional Living. So I read this book for the first time, I think it was two years ago, and I got my whole entire family to read it. Every relationship I've been in, I've made the guy read it. It's a really incredible book. And it just shows you that your life has purpose, it has value, it has meaning, so be intentional with every single moment. And be thoughtful in why you do what you do. Be intentional in your everyday living, in your everyday moments. And so this book has been a game changer for me in how I view my life and how I live and in how I add value to other people. So I would say that my favorite genre when it comes to when I'm picking out books and different books I want to read, especially when there are so many out there, I usually just read leadership or religious books. And that's really important to me because I just feel like it really adds value to me. It makes me better. I don't have a ton of time, so I don't want to just read to read. I want to read to get better. I want to read to add value to other people. Okay, my third all-time favorite book is The Sacred Search by Gary Thomas. This is what it looks like. He is such an incredible author. And this is really amazing for all of you single people out there. <laughs> I have read this book and it has changed the way that I view relationships. It's changed the way that I view going into a marriage and what I feel like is important, but also how important our single years are. And if you're not single, he also has a book called The Sacred Marriage, which I recommended and gave to my parents. <laughs> but this has literally been a game changer for me as being a single. And it's also caused me to insert relationships because I read through this thing and I was like, nope, that's not what I have and that's what I need. Okay, my fourth favorite book is by Lisa Turkhurst. It's called Uninvited. She's also like the artsiest person ever. The book cover is so beautiful. This is also like a great book to just like set a little nightstand or coffee table. This book is so good and when you feel left out, rejected, and lonely, this is a great book to turn to. And I love that she doesn't speak from this place of, I have it all together. I never struggle with these things, but she really speaks from this place of, hey, let me share with you every single time I felt left out, every single time I felt rejected in the moments where I felt like I had nothing good to offer and no one wanted me. And I remember reading this book in a really low place in my life when I was struggling with where do I belong? I don't feel like I fit in anywhere. And I remember reading this book and it totally changed just how I viewed myself and what I saw that I brought to the table. I'm able to now come from this place of abundance. Like I know who I am, I know what I bring to the table and I know that I already belong. And my very last favorite book is by Jenny Allen and it's called Get Out of Your Head. This is the cover. And it says, stopping the spiral of toxic thoughts. First of all, Jenny Allen is literally one of my favorite humans. She's my mentor in life, and she has made such an impact on me personally. I really recommend this book to everyone out there and to all my friends who are constantly wrestling in their minds, you know, with so many different thoughts, negative, emotional, crazy, Whatever those thoughts are, I really recommend this book because it all starts in here. And if we can learn to captivate our thoughts and point them to the truth, just basing our life and our thought life, especially off of the truth, this is who I am, this is what it is, this is who God has called me to be, 
then we can live the life that God has called us to live. So I really recommend this book. So I decided to write my own book because I love reading so much and I feel like God has put a message on my heart that I want to share with you. And so my book is called Made for This Moment, Standing Firm in Strength, Grace, and Courage. So when I came off of The Bachelor, I had a lot of people asking me, how are you able to stand firm under pressure? How are you able to stay true to yourself? I was getting those questions tons of times every single day. And I was like, hmm, what if I wrote a book that answered those questions and that really met people where they were at, but helped them see the greatness within themselves and then ultimately take them to where God wants them to be and who God has called them to be. And so I wrote this book with you in mind and how you can stand firm in strength, grace, and courage. I'm super excited about this message. It's the scariest and most horrible thing that I've ever done in my life. But I know that it's going to serve a purpose and I know that it's going to help, even if it's just one person. Thank you guys so much for watching Shelf Portrait. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun just sharing with you guys why I love to read and my all-time five favorite books. Be sure to go check out Made for This Moment, Standing Firm, and Strength, Grace, and Courage. You can find it on Amazon or on my website, maddiecrew.com. Or you can just check out my Instagram and it'll lead you to that. And be sure to subscribe to Marie Claire. Bye guys.